All right, we are at our next Goodwill. This is an outlet, so I think it's a Benz. Um, I'm not going to do the microphone in here. I'm just going to film to see if I find anything. It might be a short video because I get overwhelmed when I go into the bins. So, well, let's go. We're still in Canton. I don't remember the name of the address of where I am, but I'll put it here at the entrance. So you'll see it next. All right, so this is the bins in Canton. Um, I, I don't know how the video is going to look. I'm, I haven't really edited it yet. But I get overwhelmed at the bins because there's so many people grabbing and looking and looking and looking and grabbing. So I kind of just went off on my own side and <laughs> I've just focused on my little bit. So hopefully the camera angles are good. I got some, um, some footage to kind of show you guys the idea of the bins. Um, it's pretty much where things from the stores that don't sell or if it's things that people like the stores didn't get to sort through, they ship it off to the bins. Oh. They ship it off to the bins and then um, it's for by the pound at these stores. And I do believe this store was $1.89 a pound um, on average. I know different categories are different things. So let's look through and see if I missed anything. I really need to get a GoPro or some kind of a camera to wear on my chest. So that way I can use both hands and yet you guys can still see out because this, it was up against the wall so I technically didn't have to keep it down, but I was, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, the bins just overstimulate me, but it's a Goodwill and I will visit it if they allow. So, not to say that it's going to last very long. This is probably going to be my shortest, my shortest video in the series will be probably all of the bins. So, yeah. So, it looks like these guys, they, they just kind of threw everything together. Um, at the ones I had previously had been to, they did like purses and bags in one, and then they do shoes. They try to keep all them together and then clothes and then hard goods and things like that. Um, the, these few that I went through here, I did notice like a lot of the bags were mixed in with the toys and, um, stuff like that, which at that point they just thirst, you know, they just put it out there. So <laughs> it's no big deal. I will say at the very end. They had a couple bins that was glass and ceramic. And I had not seen that at other bins that I'd been to. I'd been to one in Zanesville, Ohio. And I'd been to a bins in Columbus, Ohio. And I didn't really find any ceramics. I know the one in Zanesville, they have a table that they put some ceramic and glass stuff on. Um, but these guys actually had them in boxes in a bin at the back of the store. So I do, I do go through that a little bit. I was trying to find things and, um, yeah, so. <sighs> there was so much, just so much. <laughs> and I came in right before they switched out the bins to bring out new bins. I got back to the back to that, elect to that, uh, the glass and ceramic bin and I was there for a minute and I just started to come up another row and they're like everybody to the front we're switching them out so they they make everybody go behind a yellow line and then they bring out all new bins there was like 30 ish bins they take them all back to the back they sweep the floor and then they bring out all new so that was cool because the other ones I've been to I've seen they just do a row at a time they take one row and take it back and it might be a row of clothes and they take it back and then they bring out a row of, you know, they take a row of hard goods and then they take it back and they bring out new, but these guys, they just switched out everything. <laughs> so they made everybody go to the front of the store and they said it would be like 10 minutes or so, which is not very long, but with as many stores as I was trying to get in for the day, I decided to just purchase what I had and I went ahead and went on my way. 
Uh, these are some Pyrex dishes, some bowls. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I haven't looked up the pattern yet. Yeah, but it was cute. A little vintage McDonald's plate was pretty. This lamp, if they, if they do stuff by the pound, and it was probably three or four pounds. So, I mean, it, that's the only thing with the bins is if you get heavier stuff, it's going to cost more to buy it. And it was kind of, the, the top wood piece was a little loose on it, so I did leave it. Yeah. I say that a lot, and I used to get frustrated with resellers that I watched and be like, why did you leave it? That's so silly. But then when you're out there, you got to kind of start thinking about, is this going to make me money? You know, what am I paying? What am I going to get out of it? Is it going to make me money to fix it, clean it, list it, store it? Like you have to really quickly run through in your head to get through for your day. And so that goes into a lot of whether or not you keep things or bring home things. So I'm a lot, I'm a lot more humble now. And I have a lot more patience when I watch other resellers on YouTube. And I'm like, yep, I understand why you didn't pick it. Which for me, even though a lot of stuff is like, oh, that's pretty. I would have picked it up. That's cool. But that, that's, my, that's just not something that they would pick up. Which is, you know, that's what makes all of us great. Is that we have our own little things. The strand of Halloween lights was really cool. They look to be vintage. But I actually have two sets already to sell this fall. So I left them hoping that somebody else would find them. Um, but they end up going back with the, with the reboot, <laughs> with the restock. So hopefully they'll come back out. I don't know. I don't know how they do their bins, but I don't know. Yeah. So then here is the ceramic and glass bin. They have these canisters here and they're made in Italy and I would have loved to pick them up, but they were very chippy, like throughout the rims on the side, the grooves, they just was very chippy and they were heavy. So they would have cost a good bit to buy them. And it was driving me crazy because you would see things and you would see like a teapot with no lid. So then I was on the search for a lid. <laughs> and I just had to keep telling myself that's probably why it's here is because there's no lid. <laughs> that's probably why it made it to the bins instead of being sold in the store. They had some MLB Corona glasses. They had probably 10 of them. And that was a print and a picture frame. That was like a metallic metal picture. It was really pretty. Had age to it. You definitely tell that it was older. And there was a picture frame sitting down between a box and the edge of the bin. And I did pull it up and it was missing a foot. But you could tell that it was older too. And I consider getting it and having my nephew make a foot. But again, you have to think, is it going to be worth my time to do that? Even though part of me is like, I would rather try to do that and not make money off of it. That, that right there. That's so pretty. But it was just missing one of the feet. 
but to save the piece is almost worth not making much money off of it. Almost. Like, you have to be smart. <laughs> There's a poo teapot there and he didn't have his lid. I was just excited to see a bin that had ceramic and glass. Like, like I had said, the other previous bins I had been to, outlet stores that I had been to, uh, didn't really have them just to freely look through. So I was just excited to see it. <laughs> So the next shot is probably just going to be me up front when they told us to come up front and it'll be me showing you the carts that people had sitting there. Um, the people that stay there all day and do this all day, they put carts at the front of the store and then they, they put what they find in the carts. See the blankets? And then they put blankets on the carts and then the carts just sit up front all day while they look and then, um, and then they just keep going and putting their stuff in the cart and covering it back up. So I just wanted to show you the carts all sitting there like a little village. <laughs> but, yep, so that was it for my bins. Like I said, short and sweet. Thanks for watching. All right. And just as I thought, it was overwhelming. <laughs> they were just getting ready to switch out bins. So I only got to look through a little bit, so I didn't get very much footage. But they make everybody come to the front of the line of the store to wait to, for the kids they switch out every bin instead of just rows so anytime we have an outlet or a bins video or store you probably won't see very much footage from me I I get overwhelmed with all the people because they're just searching and going around you and looking and looking and looking and looking and I don't deal with that very well so I might add this one on another one if I got enough I'll probably do a little it's own little one but I did pick up two things a couple uh, plastic, it's that vinyl with the cotton or the on the inside. I got that one and then I got these little faces. I don't know if they're vintage or not. They're cute. I, they're not worth anything. I'll keep them. So yeah, so um, I don't know yet if this will be its own video. If not, I'll see you guys in a little bit at the next Goodwill. If it's his own video, I'll see you in the next video. So, have a good day, guys. Bye.